What if Mommy Longlegs was the monster from Amanda the Adventurer in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2? One of my favorite things about games is modding. Taking a finished game and injecting things into it to change the experience and what you can see. Mods are amazing because the community can create all sorts of awesome things. And one of my favorite kinds of mods is combination mods. Mods that take a character from a game and add them to a different game. And over the years, we've had some pretty cool stuff. Actually, just recently, I saw that someone took Baldi from Baldi's Basics and threw it in Zardi's Maze. And Baldi will behave just like Baldi does in Baldi's Basics, except in Zardi's Maze. And that's an entirely different challenge. But then there's some games where there's a lingering monster that we never get to face off against. For those who don't know, there was a game jam game called Amanda the Adventurer, where we basically cycle through VHS tapes, and each tape gets weirder and weirder until we ultimately see a monster at the end. There's this weird monster with all these eyes and teeth, and we just catch a glimpse of it before everything comes to a close. Except, I went to the game and modded it so that we could see that the creature was basically us, or where we were the entire time. And this 3D model of this monster does exist, so I thought, hold on a second, I want to face off against this monster. I wasn't able to do it in Amanda the Adventurer, but I can certainly do it in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. So the process of changing Mommy Longlegs into the monster from Amanda the Adventurer is kind of neat. So I was working with a modder named Junior, and this is what they said the process was like. Quote, the first step is extracting the model from the game. So I use a program to browse through the various files and export the ones I need. This probably isn't necessary, but I always run my exports through a 3D program called 3DS Max and export them again as an FBX file to ensure I don't run into any skeletal issues. After that, I can import this FBX file into Blender and edit the models at the same time. Basically, lining up the modded character to fit into the existing rig of Mommy Longlegs for this example. After that's finished, you have to run Unreal Engine, and the version you're running has to be the same as the game you're trying to mod. You format your project files in the same way the game files are formatted so the game can read it. We then convert all this into a pack file, which is an archive the game can read, and place it into the game's file system. And then the character will be in the game. End quote. So overall, an incredible effort by Junior for getting this to work in Engine. But now it's time to face our fears. So I booted up Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, and I entered the hallway where we lose our red hand. And as I reached for the switch, the monster dripped out of the ceiling. And honestly, seeing this come down out of the ceiling towards me is kind of spooky. You know, we haven't seen this monster move before. And seeing it come out and see it stretch its long hands out and drip its face down just like Mommy Longlegs would is very unsettling. I honestly don't know where it's looking because it has so many different eyes, but its teeth are truly terrifying. So as always in this scene, the monster retreats into the darkness and we have to press on forward into Playtime Cow. I like to imagine that our character is either Amanda or Wooly, and they are finally facing off against the monster. And that's exactly what we're doing, because now we're going to warp to the end of the game. Now, seeing this monster chase you is truly, truly terrifying. Maybe it's because it's so dark. Your Mommy Longlegs is a bright color, you know, pink and things like that. And while she is dingy and beat up, so she's not super bright like she was in the trailer, Seeing a character that is mostly grays and blacks with only like the whiteness of the teeth and the eyes is really terrifying when you see it coming through the hallways or even when you spot it hanging down below on the walls. So of course we pull the lever and the chase begins. And oh my gosh, it's so unsettling. Honestly, when doing this, I didn't even realize that the hands that come up and grab you will be swapped out too because they are no longer Mommy Longlegs hands. They are the hands of the monster and they are trying to get us. This made the sewers extra spooky. And now when exiting the sewers and going up above, you know, I made across that jump that you have to grapple across. And at the point, I, I realized I never turned around to see what happens to the monster or even Mommy Longlegs in the original game. But they just scurry down into the darkness, <laughs> into this massive pit. And I don't think I ever realized that before. I always thought they were following me to the next area. But we're going to the next area anyways. We pull the lever. And now it's time to finally defeat Amanda the Adventurous monster once and for all. So it's running down the hallway. It wants to sink its teeth into us, and we throw the switch for the grinder. And finally, the monster that was haunting us in Amanda the Adventurer is defeated. It's torn to shreds in the grinder, and it's really interesting because as it's defeated, you'll notice that the monster itself starts to glitch out. And this is because normally what happens is the game for Mommy Longlegs actually splits her model into two. So it takes her torso and her other pieces and breaks them apart. Well, we don't have that logic working for the monster. <laughs> so what happens is the monster's geometry stays together. However, it stretches apart. 
It's like a giant piece of silly putty just being stretched across the floor. And then, you know, the hand comes out from the prototype and drags away the top half of the monster, while the bottom half is still stuck in the grinder. And it's truly both a comical and terrifying sight. But that is how we got Amanda the Adventurer's monster into Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 and defeated it. I hope you enjoyed this video. A big shout out to Junior for making this possible. And of course, subscribe now for more Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 content coming really, really soon. Cheers!